Okay, now let's see how to remote debug the page being rendered on the max of edge on the Xbox One. So to do that, we're going to use Volon.js, another open source project I'm working on. So it's very simple to use Volon.js on your website if you want to have access to remote debugging. The only thing you need to do is to have this reference to the script of Volon.js at the beginning of your web page. And by just doing that, you will enable remote debugging on your website. So I've been doing that on a specific responsive version of our Babylon.js home page, and I've published that on the web. Once I've been doing that, now what I need to do is to connect on the dashboard. So the dashboard is over there, so I'm going to connect on it. We just add a little bit of securities to protect our dashboard, but currently you see that no client is being connected. So we're now going to connect on the Xbox One. So using the same approach as the first video, using the Xbox One application, and I'm going to connect back to the Xbox One, stream the Xbox One video output, connect back to Microsoft Edge, using my Xbox One controller this time. So let's connect to, to Microsoft Edge. And now I'll need to display the web page um, that is different than the main one. So to do that, we're just going to edit it. So the cool thing using the remote application is that you can use the keyboard of your Windows 10 PCs. So let's do that and connect to this web page and it's going to be displayed. So now let's have a look to the way to modify now remotely this web page. The first things you need to do is to reduce slightly the size of the application. So let's snap it on the left and let's snap the Volon dashboard on the right just to have a look to it. You, know, you can now see that we've got a client being connected so we can go to the My Device plugin and let's have a look to what said this plugin. So currently we see that this is a white screen being displayed because this is the Xbox One on my right, right screen uh, TV. And let's have a look to the user agent to really check that we're currently running on Xbox One, which is currently the case. So we can see that we are running Edge and on an Xbox One. So perfectly fine. What you can see also is that you can check using Modernizer the various uh, CSS properties and HTML5 stuff being supported by Microsoft Edge on the on the on the Xbox One. Let's have a look that the gamepad API is being properly supported. So we've been checking that in the previous uh, uh, videos, and we can even have access to the interactive console. So for instance, let's imagine you've got an arrow being logged only on the Xbox One using Microsoft Edge. You will be have able to see it on the con remote console and you can even execute some code for instance so let's say hello xbox one remotely and you see that on the xbox one uh, we've got this message from the web page so you can have access to different things to help you debugging doing that at the remote side so now let's try to modify a little bit the current HTML, so let's move over there. Let's move to the first screen here. And now we can see that I can overlay most of the things. Let's go to the item container. So the first thing I can modify, let's say that I want to just say demo Xbox One. So you see that it's automatically updated on the Xbox One. As a reminder, just to show you that we're still running inside the Xbox One dashboard. So we're really currently remote debugging the Xbox One using Voland in a very simple way, you see. Now let's see that, uh, let's think that, for instance, this image is not the, the proper one, so I want to update it. So let's modify the first item. So let's move that a little bit to have more spaces. And then let's say that I want another image called the small version. You see it's being updated a little bit and also you see that maybe uh, the current item is not using the proper amps, um, let's say flexbox size. So let's update the flexbox also um, by switching from 17 to 12. And you think in live you can really re remote debug the layout of 
the um, of the web page being executed on the on the Xbox One. And the cool thing with the Xbox One application on Windows, then it can do everything on a single machine. So currently, it's very geeky and very funny to see that. On the left, I'm currently streaming the content from the Xbox One and using Microsoft Edge. And thanks to Volon GS, I'm also remote controlling it from my dashboard on the same machine. So it's really helpful if you'd like to test uh, your content on the Xbox One using the Windows 10 PCs and whatever browser you, you may like using Volon GS to remote control any web page. So it's pretty fun. I hope you, you like it. So you can do other things with Volon GS like having access to the network monitors to have access to what's being done, doing some unit testing, to have access to the object explorer to have a, to introspect some of the JavaScript objects you have on the remote web page. So you can do a lot of different things like identifying also the current Xbox One being connected to your dashboard, for instance, because you can now imagine the remote debugging several Xbox One, several PCs, smartphone, whatever, uh, using Volon GS. So thank you for watching and I hope you will use Volon GS to improve the web page on all devices. Thank you.